Talk to me about vegan. I know you tried the vegan diet or or living as a vegan. If I want to live healthy, is do I have to convert to be a vegan? No, you don't have to. And I've got some vegan friends and we'll and we go back and forth about this. But what I will say is this: the vegan diet is amazing. I think people should try to go vegan just a little bit, just so they can understand. Because I feel like when you see, when you hear vegan people, like for instance, I I convinced my dad to go vegan to address a lot of his health issues because he had severe inflammation inside of his body. He went vegan um, and lost like. 40, 60 pounds, I believe it's about 60 pounds overall. Um, he felt better, the inflammation stopped, and he changed his way of life. And so we had this Thanksgiving, um, and he wanted to have a vegan Thanksgiving. So I was like, great. And people were coming up to the house talking about, what is this? Ooh, what is that? I'm like, they're just vegetables. So I think when people hear the word vegan, they think it's alien food. Dog, it's just plants. It is literally just plants. Now, you don't have to become vegan to be healthy. I did that for my father because his, his, his condition was so severe. Like he was at the far end of the spectrum where like nothing else was going to help. And I knew that it was the food he was eating and it cured him. Right. Um, but I think what we also, that we all need, especially in the African-American community is we need to make plants much more of the star of our dish. Meaning that, you know, we're, we're, you know, we've been so accustomed to be like, all right, we're going to make some ribs and then maybe we'll have a salad. No, let's make plants to star of our dish, and then if we want, we can maybe add some meat to it. Um, we grew up knowing how to cook. Like, black folks taught America how to cook and yes, how to put food and flavor together, right? So we know how to do that. So why not use our expertise in, in pairing these, these like, foods together in a much more calorie-conscious way? So, so long as you are eating more plants than meat, I think that is a much better way to go about living. But you don't need to go vegan completely to, to be healthy. You just need much better portion control. Okay, great. So let's talk meats. Okay. Often here, protein, protein, protein. You gotta get your protein in. How much protein should I or could I have on my plate to remain healthy? Yeah, you know, that's going to be, that is largely individual. And that goes back to what I was saying before as how we've been really taught to, to, um, to favor meat and make meat the start of the dish. But we don't need that much protein to be, to be, um, to be functioning human beings. And also plants have a lot of protein. So really it should be a question about where are you getting the majority of your protein in and how much do you need? Now, if you're into bodybuilding and working out, I know that they've said you need one gram of protein for every pound of like body weight. You don't need to do all that. That's only if you're like competing and doing all that kind of stuff and you're trying to look like one of them people, you know, you, you know, um, you know, like a magazine model or something like that. But you don't need all that. You can get by, you know, um, with just a little bit of protein. You can get by with maybe half your body weight grams and protein a day. It is much more about the balance of nutrition that you have in your diet. So are you getting a variety of vitamins and minerals? Are you getting solid protein from animals or fish and from plants? And are you also limiting the amount of fats that you are getting from animal protein too? Um, And you are much more prioritizing like plant-based fats. You're getting fats from olive and olive oil and nuts and seeds and nut butters, things like that, avocado. Those are things that you should be looking at much more. So, so they're all high in protein. Those are high in fat. I'm saying for the for the protein, you can get protein from anywhere, but I would prioritize lean protein, like chicken, lean fish, um, um, you know, seafood, shrimp, but also looking at um, protein from plants, like even um, you know, a cup of spinach has protein in it. Edamame is one of my go-to's. It's super high in protein. Peas. So all protein is, does not have to come from an animal that makes a sound. It can come from plants, too. So give me an idea. How do you start your day? What does a typical breakfast look like for you? Um, typical breakfast like today, um, I just had um, – I've been on this new kick since I've been at home. I've been trying out all these new um, foods. And so my, my new obsession is, is this, like, banana milk that they have at the store. Mm-hmm. And, so I've been using banana milk to cook up some oatmeal 
and then I'll crush up a banana, put some cinnamon, vanilla extract in there. Um, and then if I want, I'll cook some eggs on the side or I'll put a scoop of protein in the oatmeal itself. And, and, and that's my, you know, that's my breakfast. Um, and also maybe even like my post-workout meal. I like to work out first thing in the morning because I know that if I don't, then oof, it's, it's going to be a struggle getting it in or towards the end of the day because you're just going and going and going. But if I get up first thing, I'm more inclined to do it. Um, lunch, that's something that I usually prep on a Sunday. So I'll set aside time and I'll plan out my meals. And I'll say, all right, I'm going to have, you know, this protein and this grain for the week. And I'll choose two proteins. I, like for this week, I chose um, shrimp and chicken. And then for the grains, I made um, farro and some brown rice. And I'll just cook them plain. I'll put seasoning on the chicken and the shrimp. And then I'll just mix and match throughout the week. So if I want some grilled vegetables one day, I'll have some roasted vegetables that I can mix them with the rice, pair that like with the shrimp. And so that way, I'm giving myself some variety throughout the week. I can always just mix and match and um, put things together that way. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.